So in this video, we're going to go over setting up your Nectar Impact LX Series keyboard with Reason. So first, you want to take the disk that came with your um, keyboard and put that into your DVD or CD drive for your computer. And then next you'll want to run the DAW integration installer. So I'm going to go to my file explorer here. Uh, usually this will open up by default when you insert a disk. But I just actually haven't put a disk in here since I installed uh, Windows 10. So um, Actually, it seems like it's doing something now, so... Okay, so I'm going to just choose Install Impact LX Integration. And then you see we have uh, a different integration uh, installer for each keyboard. You just choose the one which fits your setup. I'm going to choose the LX25. Uh, user uh, Windows warning about unknown software. Yes, I know. I guess I trust Nectar. Um, or nectar. Um, next, I agree. Reason support, Personas Studio One support. It must have scanned the, my computer to see what DAW, DAWs that I had installed, and that's why these are automatically checked. I don't have Steinberg, Cakewalk, Motu, or any of these other ones, so that's the only thing that I can think of why these are the only two that are checked. So. But anyhow, if yours, the ones that you have are not checked, go ahead and check those, and I'll click Next. I'm going to go ahead and close out this back window. Okay, setup was completed successfully. I'll just hit Next and Finish. I'll close out the disk here. And the next step, step is that you want to plug your actual uh, keyboard into the USB port on your computer if you haven't already done so. Go ahead and turn it on. And we have our Windows notification that it recognized the device. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and launch Reason. And next, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences at the bottom. And then we want to choose the Control Surfaces tab. And this is actually here because I had set up the keyboard as a uh, general MIDI controller keyboard uh, yesterday. But I'm just going to go ahead and delete that out. So this is what you will see if you don't have any uh, devices, any control surfaces connected to your computer. The next step that you want to do is choose Auto Detect Surfaces. And this message here, some of the control surfaces use the same MIDI ports. Um, that's OK. Just click OK. And you should now see two control surfaces populated in the control surfaces window. One is named uh, the Nectar Impact LX25, or whichever keyboard you're using. 
And then the other one is the Nectar Impact LX25 Mixer Mode. You just want to make sure that both of these are checked. So let's go ahead and then close our preferences window. Then let's go to options, surface locking, and with the drop down menu here, you want to choose the LX25 or whichever series that you have, the mixer mode. Make sure you're choosing mixer mode one. Now down below in the lock to device area, you want to choose the master section. And we can then close this window out. Now keep in mind that the reason surface locking settings are only set per song. So if you're going to be using your uh, Nectar keyboard, you know, all the time, you may want to go ahead and set up a default template and in that default template be sure that you set that uh, surface locking surface locking um, to the nectar and so at this point we should then have control of reason using the uh, keyboard so I'll go ahead I'm gonna F6 and maximize the rack bring in a Kong and try out the pads first Okay, so far so good. Let's also bring in a Thor and try out the keyboard. We're good there. I'll F5, bring up the um, mixer. And actually, I'm moving the fader, but it's not controlling. Um, I'm going to assume before I do this that it's because I don't have a uh, channel selected. And th this level, from what I read, if I remember correctly, this will only control the master fader if I hold down the mixer button. So if I hold down mixer, let's see. There we go. So that's in order, and if I select a channel strip, then well, it's receiving the MIDI information. So I just may need to study up on using the buttons here. Now, the POTS should control your first bank of eight uh, channels. So I'm going to create a group here and let's see what happens. OK. And, you know, these do have soft takeover, so I'm turning the knob now, but it's not doing anything. Once I reach 0 dB, then it takes over. So that's a really cool feature. And I believe if I hold down Mixer or Shift, I'm trying to adjust the panning. So maybe it must be mixer. Yeah, so holding down mixer then adjusts the panning. Okay, so it looks like we're in business. I just need to figure out what I did, uh, what is the key combination or the button to press so that the uh, fader here will control whichever channel you currently have selected. Because according to what I read, I thought that was what it was supposed to do. Yeah, so I'll have to look into that. 
anyhow, hope that you had uh, similar success. If you have any questions, uh, leave in a comment or send me a line. See you in the next video.